exciting news everybody, history is being made today. Welcome to episode one of the new Jack Sucks and Geography subreddit series. As it's a special occasion, I'm gonna change the color of the lights. Look at that, let's go green. Let's go Jack Sucks and Geography green. We'll call it Jack Sucks and Geography, there we go. <laughs> But yes, this is a new subreddit that you can come and join. There's currently 3,700 members, but I reckon we can get that up to like 10,000. I'll do a video on the subreddit about once a month, so not too often at all. And hopefully that means that all the posts will be really good. This is the first ever episode, so the posts are going to be mostly terrible. But it's only up from here. <laughs> and best news of all, the video is sponsored by NordVPN. But more about that later. For now, let's take a look at the top post. I made flags out of Rubik's Cubes for Jack. Oh my god, hang on. So each one of them is an individual Rubik's cube. That is actually really impressive. You've got the Seychelles, you've done North Macedonia, and you've done Canada. That's actually crazy. Like, look at each individual Rubik's cube. What on earth? I understand why that's the top post. Fair play. Well done. Yo, I'm making something where we remove one country each day until there's one winning country. The top comment for each post will get the country removed. Can I be asked with this? I'm not sure I can. <laughs> this is going to take at least 197 days. I think I'm alright. I built all the world flags in Minecraft. Hang on a minute. Is that actually all the world flags? Alright, I'll think of a country and then I'll look for a flag. Uh, let's go with Iran. Can we see the Iran flag anywhere? Oh, you've got Iraq over here, but I don't know if you've got Iran. I'm still looking. Oh my god, you do. It's right there. You win this round. Pancake plays 69420. <laughs> <laughs> slash geography. Memes and interesting posts about geography. Well, that'd be nice. Vote for country to get eliminated. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure those kind of posts are that interesting, to be honest. I want this series to become a place for interesting geography facts and funny geography memes that relate back to me. We are not going to stop posting screenshots. Do you know what? I've not seen this one before. So this was my first attempt at naming flags back when I basically knew no flags at all. So I tried Oman for Palestine. Hey, I reckon I could be forgiven there, alright? Both are fairly obscure, alright? A flag of the hypothetical union between Botswana and the Bahamas. I like it. Very nice. The world according to Jack's first naming all countries video. This took a long time. Oh, this is pretty clever. This makes it look like I did quite a good job. <laughs> but then you look closer and you realise a lot of Africa is missing. Most of the smaller Asian countries are gone. The Caribbean's just completely non-existent. <laughs> yeah, not great for me. Not great. Whoa, guys, why is everything shaking? Does anyone else hear that rumble? That must mean it's time for Jack's Geography Interlude! <laughs> That's right, going forward, every Jackson's Geography subreddit video will include a geography-based mini-game. So today I'll be trying to guess which country this is on World Hulk, but I'll be honest, I have absolutely no idea. So while I think about it, let's hear from today's sponsor. So I want to start doing more travelling videos on this channel, and actually visiting all of the different countries that I'm constantly talking about. And one of the first places I want to go is the delightful Spain. But if we're filming stuff in Spain, I'm going to need a car. So let's find out how much it would be to rent one. Barcelona Airport. Yeah, we'll do 25th to 30th of July. Right, cheapest is £96.53. However, let me show you my magic trick. If I clear cookies on my browser, then I use NordVPN to change my location. Side note, look at all of these beautiful flags. Set ourselves to the United States. There we go, just like that. And then go to the US version of the site and enter all of the same information. Then you can see that this time everything's gone really orange. I'm not actually sure why that is. I guess they think that Americans like the colour orange. But more importantly, this courser is now going to cost $90.55 a day to rent, which converts to £74.78 Great British Pounds, which is a whole £21.75 cheaper than the original UK quote. Meaning that on my five-day trip, I would save over £100 on car rentals, and you can do the same. Not only does NordVPN allow for cheaper international pricing, but it also unlocks so much international content. It stops intrusive tracking, it gets rid of all those malicious ads and pop-ups, and just basically keeps you really safe. And don't forget all the flags! <laughs> so if you head to nordvpn.com slash jackgeo, you can get a two-year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free! And it's completely risk-free because there's a 30-day money guarantee. Thank you so much, Nord, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Right, back to the world also. So, honestly, I have no idea. I do not recognise this at all. This is a really interesting little area down here, though. So, I've learned all the outlines of Europe. So, I know it is nowhere in Europe. So, I'm thinking where else would be best to try. I'm going to try Qatar, you know. It's just come to me. Ra <laughs> I promise I did not cheat. I moved away from Europe and I instantly thought of Asia. Because it didn't look African or any Americas. And then I thought, Qatar's a small country that I wouldn't know the shape of. Let's give it a try. And I absolutely nailed it. Well, I reckon that means we've probably got time to play global as well. Let's get on with it. Okay, to begin with, I like to go in the middle of Africa. So we'll do Central African Republic. Ooh, not too far away. What's the distance? 2,000 kilometers. So shall I try Spain, maybe? Do you think that's about 2,000 kilometers? Further away, further away. Maybe down 
down the bottom. I'm going to try South Africa and let's see. Oh, 10 kilometers is the closest border. So does that mean that it's Lesotho or Eswatini? I don't think so because surely that would mean that the closest border would be zero kilometers because it's neighboring. Is that how that works? But then I'm not actually sure where else to go. I'm going to try Zambia then. Okay, maybe I should try a neighboring country. I'm going to go with Angola. Let's do it. Oh, further away. And also not neighboring. I knew that. I knew that. I meant Namibia. <laughs> Let's try that one. What's going on here? I think I need to stop overcomplicating things. I need to just go with Eswatini, don't I? All right, Eswatini. Let's do it. No. What? Close spot is still 10k. Is it Lesotho after all that? It isn't, but Lesotho is further away than Eswatini. So that means it's whatever country this is. And I... I can't remember. Is it Zimbabwe? Let's try it. No, I am right. I'm really messing this up. So that means it must be Botswana, right? No, what is going on? So it must be whatever country this is, but I can't quite remember what country that is. Oh, it'll be Mozambique, won't it? Yeah, of course it is. Mozambique. Hard to spell. It's got every vowel in it. There we go. You ready? You ready? Okay, that took longer than it should have. <laughs> Montenegro. <laughs> Just the comedic relief that I needed after a stressful game of global. I was so close. Oh my god, you named almost every capital city in the world. I am very impressed. Fair play. This is a video that I've tried to record. I tried to learn all the capitals in Europe, but I just wasn't really enjoying it because it was too hard. So I gave up after like 20 minutes. It's something that I'm probably going to have to reattempt at some point. I know so many of you keep asking about it, but look at how difficult this is. Sri Jawardenapura Kote. I would have to learn how to spell that. But I don't I don't want to do it. <laughs> next post down. Jack should learn all the capital cities next. Jack should learn all the national anthems next. Does literally every country have a national anthem? Like if I type in Mozambique national anthem, something's going to come up, isn't it? Oh my God, here we go. Let's have a listen. Wait, hang on. You want me to learn all the lyrics? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. I like it. It's a lot more poppy than I imagined. All right, what about Antigua and Barbuda national anthem? Here we go. Oh, they've got more classic. Let's skip ahead. Very auto-tuned. <laughs> Well, very insightful. There we have it. Map of Africa made out of orange peel. Do you know what? They've done a good job. You've got Cape Verde over here. You've got Seo Tome and Principe. You've literally got it all. You've got Djibouti down there. Fair play. I know you're not the original creator, but whoever was did a smashing job. Merch? Question mark? That is right. Jack Sucks and Geography's first ever merch is coming very soon. And in fact, I happen to be wearing it right now. And look how good it looks. Wow, do you see that cool design on the back with like all the countries and stuff? Cool. What about the St. Lucia flag. Do you see the subtle St. Lucia flag? Very epic design. Absolutely love it. Coming soon. <laughs> oh my god. Flag of Sicily, but it's Jack. This is the kind of post I can't wait to see more of every single month. <laughs> if the human population held hands around the equator, a significant portion of them would drown. <laughs> this is true. Probably like 80% of them, to be fair. Jack should make a flag for Jack Sucks of Geography printed out and display it in his room. Maybe. I'm not sure. I have actually finally added some geography stuff to my background, though, because it's obviously it's very play button intense here. Unfortunately on camera, you can't see it too well, but if I turn the lights off, look at that cracking map that Becky got me for my birthday. It's got a lot of data at the top with like the highest peaks in each country, and then the bottom is all flags of the world. Very nice. All right, there's no need for this. Learn all the capitals or disappoint us, Jack. <laughs> I really don't want to learn all the capitals, guys. It's really hard. <laughs> the Jackson Geography flag. It's a nice looking flag, to be fair. Not too complicated. Not bad. I tried to draw flags from memory. All right, let's see how you did. Chile, and then that's the actual flag. Oh, God, you're a little know-it-all, aren't you? Right, let's see. Gambia, you've absolutely nailed. I would have struggled with that one. Yemen? What have you put that two stars for? You clearly get it mixed up with the flag of Syria there, you idiot. What a fool. Netherlands. Yeah, you nailed that one. Kazakhstan. Much better than my attempt. <laughs> in a previous post, I said that the Jack Sucks Geography YouTube slash Reddit banner was full of mistakes. So here is a version with all those mistakes removed. I also raised the resolution of the image. Yes, I was said this earlier in the week and I have since updated my channel banner with the new version. So thank you very much. In the original, there was a few countries missing and there was like a few spelling mistakes. I wasn't too bothered because I thought it was kind of cute. But as our friend Tim here put so much effort into correcting everything and making it slightly better quality, I of course had to use it. So thank you kindly, Tim. What's scary Spelling Kyrgyzstan or finding Luxembourg. All right, well, I will attempt to do both right now and we'll see if I successfully do either. <laughs> right, I'm gonna type Kyrgyzstan in here. So I'm genuinely trying my hardest here. Right, I know there's definitely a K and then I think, is it Y right off the bat? Oh God, I already feel like I've got it wrong. 
Right, that's what I'm going with. Is that correct? It is! I did it! I did it! Right, next we'll try and find Luxembourg. And we can probably make a YouTube short out of this as well. Find Luxembourg with no borders challenge. Okay, so I think it's slightly to the left of this arrow, and then I go up to about here, and then I click. Yes! I expect at least 2 million views on that YouTube short. Thank you very much. This one sparks joy. The Luxembourg flag. Yes, very pretty with the light blue. I like it. This one does not spark joy. Trying to click Luxembourg without borders. Well, that is unless you're an absolute genius such as myself, of course. I will never see this similarity again. Oh my god. Wait, is that Kazakhstan? Does Kazakhstan look like a giant turtle? I think it does. <laughs> Oh, and he's munching on a bit of lettuce as well. Well, that's delightful. American flag colour distribution. Wait, it was all Czechia? Always has been. <laughs> that is funny, you know, the flag of Czechia being created by the colour distribution in the US flag to portray it onto a pie graph. <laughs> it's a specific kind of funny, but it's funny nonetheless. What country is missing? Go on then, I'll bite. Let's have a look. What country's missing here? Oh, God, this is really hard. Okay, you've shoved a little Among Us character over France. That's very fun. Is this something to do with... No, it's not that, is it? Could it be something here? Isn't this like Cuba and then Jamaica connects or something? I don't know. I'll say Jamaica. Why not? It's Chile. Do not tell me I miss Chile. Oh my god, I miss Chile. That's all me, that one. My bad, guys. I'm sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Oofy McBoofy123 successfully named all capital cities in the world. Fair play. I am questioning why you've got a Peppa Pig World advert, though. We all know adverts are based on your search history, so a little bit weird. There are flag computer curses for free. Oh, Oh my god, that could be epic. I am thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh no, it's another old Jackson Geography clip where I'm an absolute buffoon. Here we go. I assume that's a website. Dot CZ. Check it. I have no idea where CZ is. <laughs> could be this place that begins with CZ. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I just say this place. Is that a country? Is that a country? Yes, Jack, it's a co Oh god. Pov, countries the British screwed up. Literally everywhere. <laughs> Jack search history after recording a maps I find video. Words similar to amusing, words similar to intriguing, fascinating, interesting. Genuinely, I do do that before recording. I literally have to just search for synonyms now because we've done like 12 episodes or something. <laughs> Old Jack. That's not where I thought Switzerland was. I thought it was up here, pointing at Finland. And then in my new video, when it was Switzerland, I accidentally clicked Finland again. What is going on? That's like four years apart. There's some kind of conspiracy going on in my brain. Hey Jack, I was in Washington DC recently and I saw some embassies trying to guess what they are. Oh, I do like a little embassy flag hunt. Right, what we got? You start me off with a tricky one here. Is that Uzbekistan? Oh, it is, it is. I think it is. Good start, Jack. Good start. And then we've got, I assume, Chile, followed by Colombia? But that's only from what I could see, so it might not be. And then Trinidad and Tobago, followed by Peru, followed by... You really gave me a tricky one to begin with. This would be... I want to say... Is it Mauritius? I think I might be wrong there. That one... Is hard because of the way it's folded, but I think it's maybe Armenia, and then I don't, I don't know. I can't see enough of that flag. I'll go with Palau, I suppose, and then oh, Czechia maybe, followed by Serbia, followed by Kazakhstan. Bit of a giveaway in that one, not gonna lie. <laughs> And then Bahrain or Qatar. I'll say it's Bahrain, but I'm probably wrong. And then we've got Argentina, followed by Mozambique, followed by Jamaica. And then the penultimate one is Botswana. And finally, oh no, this is the answers. All right, Mexico was not there. It started with Uzbekistan, which we got. We got Chile, Colombia, Trinidad and Tobago, Peru, Mauritius, Armenia. Did not get Micronesia. That was the blue one. I didn't say the Philippines. I got Serbia. I got Kazakhstan. I got Bahrain, Argentina, Mozambique. Yeah, we got basically all of them, right? Possibly. <laughs> I don't know if this is geography related, but look at this pencil sharpener that I got. Well, that's absolutely delightful. It's a little globe. That's adorable. World map, but it's inverted. Oh my god, so they swapped the land and the sea. That looks so strange, doesn't it? Jackson's geography versus every country in the world. Oh, if this has been done well, it's going to be epic. Right, I am hyped for this. Oh, ho, 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 so much has happened already. So you started it from like the beginning of the channel's history. So it's hit 100k and it's already overtook American Samoa, Bermuda, Dominica, Isle of Man, Antigua and Barbuda. Seychelles. Unreal. Look at it rising up the ranks. 140, 150,000 subscribers. Oh, watch out, Guam. Oh, St. Lucia, watch out. Oh, Jack Sucks has stuffs up here as well. I didn't even spot you, cheeky little fella. Say, oh, and Principe. Oh, Jack Sucks trophy slowed down. This was obviously when the channel wasn't doing quite as much. But now it's, it's off on one. It's absolutely storming it. 
It's slowed down again. It's slowed down again. All right, Jack's astrography is like slow. Oh my god, it's just suddenly had a massive boost. I'm assuming this is about the time that I started the Can I Name All the Country series and the channel kind of came back to life. Look at it overtaken. Oh, it's gonna surpass Iceland. Very, very nice. Oh, yes. And now we've had a few shorts go viral and it's just like on a bit of a rampage. And it's catching up to Jack's stuff as well. This is so cool. I like this a lot. Whoa, look how fast. Oh my god. Bloody hell. I'm rewinding that. The channel just exploded at the beginning of 2022. Look at this. That's insane. That is absolutely mad. Jeez. And then overtaking Jackson's stuff. And then Jackson's stuff and geography heading off together. The next stop's Bhutan, which I think we've already overtook. However, Guyana, 786,000. We're very, very close to. So subscribe to help me get more subscribers than Guyana. Thank you very much. That was an epic post, though. Jack stats at life. Fair play. There's a mini Texas inside of Texas. Go on, then. Let's have a look. <laughs> They made that pool the shape of Texas. Unbelievable. OMG, he almost typed Hawaii. Oh, it is crazy to think of a time where I didn't know what the Seychelles flag looked like. And I also thought Hawaii was a country. Great job, me. Character development, guys. Good stuff. The literal translation for countries in Swedish. Oh, this is interesting to look at. So I know a few of what the countries are in German, just because I've been learning German. And Russia's called Russland in Deutsch, as well as in Swedish, apparently. And I think Denmark is also Denmark in Deutsch as well. Is this true, though? The UK is called the big... Britain slash the Great Britain and Turkey's called the Turkey, the Bulgaria, the Romania, the Italy, the Spain. That's so interesting. Week one, guess the redesigned flag. It looks like Serbia to me. I'm actually surprised no country has adopted this like cool geometric shape thing. That genuinely looks really cool. Most people are guessing it's Russia. Few people are guessing Serbia. Unfortunately, they didn't tell us, but whatever it is, I like it. Countries Jack has visited map. Yeah, I think that's pretty much accurate. China, I was in Hong Kong airport for like an hour and a half. So it feels like a lot of colouring in for what doesn't really count as a trip. Oh, you've even got a little Fiji down the bottom. That was a very nice area. I liked Fiji very much. Jack should make a video reacting to historic flags, like the Libya 1977 to 2011 flag. Yeah, the old Libya flag was literally just a green block. That's it. That could be quite an interesting video. Yeah, maybe I will do that, to be fair. The flag of Yaroslavl, a city in Russia. They love a bear on a flag in Russia, and I can see why, because it looks super badass every time. And you know what? On that note, I'm going to end off this video. Thank you very much for watching the first ever Jackson's Grovey subreddit video. Join the subreddit and post some stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to check out Nord in the description. Very cheap, great price, and I will see you all later.